Hello everyone, welcome to Nitya Cloud Tech. Hope all of you are doing good. In our last video, we tried to understand the different data connectors in Power BI. Like there were different data connectors like file, if you need to connect with any of the file, uh, databases, analysis service, any cloud services, any online website or, you know, Salesforce. So we have like just check or gone through all the data connectors and we try to download this uh, Excel uh, sheet using the Excel data connector. Now in this video, we are going to talk about the Power Query or editor overview. So actually, whenever you import your data, so you first need to clean your data. You need to transform your data as per your business need. You don't need to basically keep all the data because it is stored on cloud and uh, you need like if since this is only a one file, one data set, but if you work on real time, then there would be huge amount of data. So you need to think as and performance purpose as well. And you need to bring only those columns or only those rows or only those data which is required for reporting purpose. So let's try to understand first like where we are going to clean your data. So we were in this video, we are just going to the overview or high level of Power BI, Power Query Editor. So Power Query Editor basically is a place where you transform your data. So you will get option of Power Query whenever you load the data. So you have two options, load or transform. Let me show you. Let's say if I load this Excel source again, let's say Excel was good and financial sample. So it's loading. So I need to select it. I have selected. Now, see, I have this load or transform data. If I select this transform data, so it will automatically take me into the Power Query editor page. This is the first option. If I click here, so let me click. So this is the place where you are going to use your Power Query editor, your data cleaning part. So you are gonna spend most of the time here. So first let me uh, close this. So this is the first way. And I can discard this changes. Now second option, let's say I clicked on load and now I need to transfer or maybe I, uh, I have selected and uh, whatever operation I did, I, I need to do, I have done. Now, if I need to go into another time on this query editor, so what I will do, I will choose this transform data option, if you see, and click here, and then transform data. So it will take me into the same page. Now let's uh, learn about, or let's take overview of this Power Query editor page. So if you see, so it is divided into multiple parts. First is the uh, like home uh, different option in the home transform at column ribbon part. And then in the left side, so let's go through each by one, of, one by one each. So whatever your data set, like in this case, only seed one is your data set. It may be like seed two, seed three, or like any data set name, like table name, sales, product, customer, all you will see here. You need to click here. And then after that, you can do the operation as per your business need. Let's say you have to do some operation on customer. So you will select customer data set and then sales data set. So you can select and then start uh, uh, basically editing what, what or as per, the, as per the business need. Okay, now, if you see in this home ribbon, it is also further divided into multiple categories. So home ribbon here you can con here you can take new source here you can see recent source you can enter data manually 
you can uh, basically change your data source. So here, this is the data source setting. If you click here, you will uh, get the file of uh, location of this file. And if you need to change, so you can manually change the file location after clicking data source setting. And after that, there's manage parameters. So when you work on real time project, you have different environment, depth, product. So you can create parameter and then you can change as per the requirement. After from here, you can refresh the view. And home tab, basically here, what you will do, you will do operation on the table level. Let's say you have to choose the data. Uh, choose the column. Let's say there are 10 columns. You've got only five columns. Let's say you only need to remove one column. So you can basically select and remove and uh, remove or choose column as per your business need. And similarly, if you have to, you know, remove multiple rows like few rows or last rows or alternate rows, so you can do from here only in the home tab. So basically, if you work on Excel, so sometimes what happens to so initial few five or 10 uh, rows are not required. So you can do and remove from here. And then here uh, we have this transform option uh, where you will mostly do the existing operation on existing column. You will change or you will replace as per the requirement. And this is the add column where basically you will uh, like add the conditional column or uh, like uh, uh, indexing custom column as per the again business. Okay. Now in the left side, as I mentioned, you will select the data set. And if you select, if you see this one equals to table. So this is the M code basically. So it automatically generated by Power BI. Like if you click here, so whatever the operation is happening, so it is automatically generated by Power BI internally. And you can do the changes in M code as well. As well. You can learn M code. This is also useful, but we are not going to talk about M code in this video. We will uh, discuss a few features in coming videos of M code. Okay. Then if you see this step in the right side uh, option, so here there is option query setting. In query setting, whatever select you, whatever sheet you will select, you will see the name, the data set of here. After that, this is the applied step. So this is the very important steps. Why? Because whatever you do, let's say you have like remove the column. So there's another step created. Let's say you have changed the column name, another step created. So these are the steps. So these will create automatically one by one here so when you refresh your report or open your remote so it will again run one by one let's say there are there will be 10 steps here so 10 steps would be run one by one here to load the to load the data so these all are the basic steps or basic overview of power query editor i hope this video is helpful for you Please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you everyone.